So while I was up in Atlanta this past weekend for DragonCon, I'd gotten inundated with emails and messages from people asking me to respond to this video called Dear Fat People. Well, I've just now watched this video, and let me tell you, what a special polished turd of PR disaster this little gem is. The video is six minutes and eight seconds of pure fat hatred, and it was put up by a Canadian ripoff of Amy Schumer called Nicole Arbor, somebody who is in over their head when it comes to being a self-centered, egotistical bitch who is only half as funny as Amy Schumer and nowhere near as hot. I'm not going to focus too much on what she said in the video because that's not as important as what the video actually represents and what it is as an entity. I'm going to stick mainly with that. So let me get this correct here, Miss Arbor. At some point during the process of getting cocks of varying sizes and races jammed into your respective orifices, ears and nose too, I'm sure, you seem like a freak, you thought it was a wonderful idea to do a video that trolled people into thinking you were actually serious about anything that you said in this video, using the anger they would obviously have upon seeing this if they had some issues with obesity themselves in order to get them to share it amongst other people in anger to get you attention and ad revenue on YouTube. You are a piece of shit. Yes, what you said in the video is really fucked up, but it's even more fucked up that you obviously don't mean it. Yet, if you check out the comments where she's posting this on Facebook, she's trying to defend meaning it for some insane reason. I guess in her ridiculous mind, that's a good thing. But seriously, it's obvious you do not mean this. The sheer reason this video exists is to get you to watch it, get you to get angry from what she's saying, get you to share it with your friends, they watch it, and they share it with their friends for the same reason, and then their friends share it with their friends for the same reason. It's viral marketing. It's a campaign to get her a bigger audience, get her more attention, sharing it on YouTube with ads enabled to get her some more shekels and ad revenue, and then shutting off her fucking comments and thumbs up or thumbs down because she's such a pussy she can't stand negative response. Well, what the fuck did you fucking expect? When you play around with issues people have sensitivities on, they're gonna get pissed. You can't be so stupid, even as a blonde, to not understand this concept. For fuck's sake. I mean, th this is just... It, I mean, it would have been one thing if you had meant it. It's worse that you don't. This is one step away from going down to your local hospital's cancer ward for children, finding some five-year-old with leukemia, and then doing a video almost like what you did here. But instead of fat people, the subject is kids dying of fucking terminal leukemia. <laughs> Isn't it funny? I have semen in my hair. <laughs> people pay me to make videos like this. You should be more offended at that. Not really, but it's funny. Yeah. See these little cancer kids? They can't do anything. They're dying of cancer, and they don't have hair I can make fun of because the chemo took it all away. They're like little zombies. You fucking weaklings. <laughs> I don't really mean anything that I'm saying, but I'm saying it anyway so you get pissed off and watch my shit. Because it doesn't matter if the response is negative, it's still money in my pocket. <laughs> Fuck you. Fuck you. You're going to use the same bullshit excuse that a lot of people who do this crap, like, uh, well, and don't even need to mention that fucker's name, as it's comedy. This isn't comical. The only thing that's a joke is your fucking career. You had a lot of opportunities to go a lot of places, because you're first and foremost a dancer and choreographer. You worked with the Russian Ballet, according to your Wikipedia page. You were a dancer ever since you were a little kid, and now you're relegated to a small, pathetic existence of trolling people like this online for attention? I think that a lot of the sentiments that you express in the video, though they are done solely for the purpose of pissing people off, must come partially from a large amount of self loathing and lack of self-respect. Whereas you watched all of your peers settle into actually good careers, you have to settle for second best, getting best comedian of the year from Much Music, Canada's equivalent to VH motherfucking one. Holy shit! I just, everything about this video is just pathetic. Yes, yes, what she said about fat people sucks. But really, you shouldn't focus so much on the message because there's really not a message there because it's just fucking there to piss you off and for no other reason and focus more on the fact that she needs to do this to keep her head above the water of irrelevance in the first fucking place oh oh yeah anyway uh yeah you fucking suck 
and they probably did fucking suck a lot to get to the nowhere you are now because let's face it you seem like the type who would do that I mean you said in your own video that you don't believe fat shaming exists so I should say in mine I don't believe slut shaming exists and you seem like the type of person that doesn't like working too hard at their elderly age of 30 fucking years old and at this point it's probably using their vagina as a business card to get what they want for stupid petty material things and to be really honest if that's really the case for you you've got no goddamn right in the world to judge other people based on their shortcomings because you've got way too many of your own now in the fallout of this whole fucking situation that she caused herself and decided to play professional victim in she actually decided to delete her own fucking youtube account and say i was suspended <laughs> That's just amazing. <laughs> like, you wanted to go out and troll other people. And then you ended up massively trolling yourself in the process. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. Oh, that's absolutely amazing that you're also trying to get people to believe that you're serious. <laughs> that you're trying to sit here and defend the most idiotic sentiment that I've ever seen. And that you do this constantly because you have no other existence on the internet besides this. <clears throat> Excuse me. But anyway, <clears throat> yeah, that's pretty much my thoughts of this. It's bullshit. Don't get wrapped up on the actual message of the video because it doesn't exist for any other reason to piss you off. If you're going to get wrapped up on something, get wrapped up on the fact that at 30 years old, somebody has done so little with their fucking life, they have to resort to this in order to make a stable living. <laughs> oh. Oh. Anyway. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, I'm some guy on the internet, and so are you. Take it easy until my next video.